Now let's remove this crankshaft front seal. This is a very, very tough. I tried a little bit here just off camera just to see if it's gonna start. And I have been beating, well, I have been pulling on this um, for quite a while and then it eventually just started there, just loosened up a little bit from the top. So I'm gonna continue pulling it from the top. And this is the idea now. This is obviously has sharp edges and you want to be very careful. You don't want to scratch the surface where the, the um, seal is gonna lie. So I am basically attaching it on the actual, um, just underneath the, the rubber here. And this is the actual body of the seal. So I'm not touching any part of this casing here at all. So there was absolutely no scratches and no damage. And I did something off camera because this seal was pushed uh, maybe two millimeters past this lip here. And this is obviously being done by BMW. This is the original BMW seal. That's how they decided to install it. And that's the way we're gonna install it as well. So there's literally not a single mark or scratch on the surface here. And the only damage is basically to the seal itself. So we're gonna clean this up a little bit with a clean cloth. Um, I'm not going to spray anything inside because I don't want any debris getting in and once I clean it up then I've marked with a marker a couple of millimeters just so I know when to stop when I'm installing the new one. This is the new seal that I'm going to be using. It's made by Febby and I'm going to show you the part number for it as well. This is 101915. As you can see it fits perfectly well. As usual um, Febby quality. These are OE matching parts, so you're never gonna have any issues with Febby. Now, let me clean this up a little bit and then we're gonna install this. Let me show you what I come up with. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is let me just, I've cleaned up the surface. As you can see, this is nice and clean now. I'm gonna place the seal in here and we need to get it started. Um, first this is now flush but we have to push in a little bit further in and uh, I'm gonna get something a little bit smaller diameter than this I'm gonna show you my full set I've got a full set of these these are super heavy-duty steel um, round plates I'm gonna get the right diameter and we're gonna push it in so this is the set I was telling you about. This was uh, the one that I was using in order to push it in place. And um, I'm just gonna measure the diameter. I don't know if it says it here on the packaging. I've got a funny feeling it's something like maybe 55 millimeters. Um, and of course we can go 54, just a millimeter smaller and push it in place. So. I've got, I'm gonna measure it first and then I, um, I'm gonna decide which shim I'm gonna use and then beat it in place. I was right about the diameter which is uh, 55 but it's the internal part and the external part I believe it's maybe around 68. Um, so I'm gonna take my second biggest shim, the, the biggest one I have is 74 and then it goes down to 65. This here is 65 plate and it fits perfectly um, so we're not going to damage the edge but um, we are going to be able to push it in so i'm going to use my mallet because with this tool i'm not going to be able to use the bolts and the holes so i will just have to gently tap it in place it going in and that's exactly where we want to be I don't want to go any further this is exactly where it was earlier I don't have to I don't want to go too far because then I'm gonna to have to have uh, to destroy it to try and pull it out so once you tap it in this is just perfect there was about a couple of uh, millimeters of um, a lip here and that's perfect so now we can install the next component um, the cranked pulley um, so you've seen it it's super easy I didn't have to use any special tools as long as I have obviously my shims then 
the sliding hammer to just pull it out and uh, yeah it's as simple as that so don't overcomplicate it don't buy any special tools um, just save yourself some money and use your common sense I hope you like this if you do like it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're not a subscriber I have a ton of BMW N57 especially videos um, a lot more to come as well I'm covering variety of vehicles but mainly I like to work on BMWs German cars so um, hopefully you enjoy this and I'll see you in the next one.